Hi, I'm Jamie Orr from Pennsylvania, USA, and this is my 1976 Checker Volkswagen Taxi prototype that I just pulled out of storage in Kalamazoo, Michigan. We are here in Atco, New Jersey for the Waterfest show. It is one of the biggest events in the USA, definitely in the East Coast. It's a huge two-day event with drag racing, show and shine, and a whole lot of vendors, and a whole lot of interesting cars, hopefully like mine. <laughs> this car popped up on the internet, and of course, people started tagging me. Hey, it's a weird stretch Volkswagen, or just a weird Volkswagen, Jamie will probably want it. It was the official prototype made in Kalamazoo Volkswagen America supplied a car to the Checker Motor Company. They built it as a prototype for a future generation taxi for them. They decided not to put it in production. They then did a Chevy Citation. The Citation was crushed, probably not a bad thing. The Rabbit was not. It got used a little bit around town by some of the executives' family, and then it got stashed away in storage. 30 years later, it got posted up on Facebook on the Checker's owners group, because of course, there's a whole bunch of Checker enthusiasts. And there's a crossover, I like weird Volkswagens that stretch, like my Jetta six-door limousine. Welcome to the clean side of the car. Uh, we did only wash half of it, so it did start off as dirty as you just saw, and then after a quick wash, here we are. There's still a lot of mice poop inside, which is kind of gross. So, Checker made the Checker caps. The, the quintessential yellow with the checkerboard down the side, that was the Checker Motor Company that made the Checker caps. Not all Checker caps are Checkers, it's just like a Sony Walkman or Kleenex that everyone just calls tissues Kleenexes. They went to Volkswagen, they got the car from Volkswagen. It was gonna be produced in the Westmoreland factory at the Volkswagen factory and then the car would be shipped out to Kalamazoo, Michigan to the Checker factory where they, where they would modify and market it as a taxi. The story was they did this, they tested it, they put 500 pound waste in the back, they drove it around and went, oh, it's underpowered. Yeah, no, no beep. It's an original Swallowtail 1.5 liter carbureted automatic transmission. It's underpowered no matter what. Then putting all this extra stuff and some big dudes in the luggage in the back. People, that was not going to work. The motor is completely seized. The transmission is so seized it will not roll backwards. I have to take the axles off just to get it off the trailer right now. I, I'm gonna make it run and drive. That's no question on that, I'm sure. But what engine, what drivetrain, what engine, I don't know. Send your answers on a postcard or hit up Deutsche Auto Parts and tell them to tell me or something. The other thing, and this is an exclusive, I haven't really told the internet yet. Under this paint is the original yellow paint. So when I first saw this on the internet, I was like, ah, oh, it's cool, it's silver and it has some stripes, but wouldn't it be really cool if it was yellow with the checker? I'm like, I can't do that, that's too played out. So I am ecstatic. My nerd senses are tingling to be like, oh look, yellow. I can restore it back to the yellow that I wanted it to be. Up front, the dashboard, the front seats are stock. Underneath the seats though is a water-cooled heating system, which is from the Checker taxis. The center section has been elongated. It has the rubber floor mats. I think this was a rubber floor mat swallowtail, which was an option, super rare, but it was an option. When I was talking to the historian, a very nice gentleman, Jim, out there who worked in the factory, he did confirm that the door cards, although they look like the same rabbit stitching, are using the checker material. So it's just mind-blowing how much effort and thought was put into this to try and make it show as a production vehicle. There's also a hand-drawn sketch that still exists showing 21 inches was the number that they wanted to extend it by. So the legroom in the back is absolutely obscene for a Volkswagen. Rabbits are always pretty good, but this one is full-on stretch out luxury unless you install the optional jump seats. This one did not come with them, but it does have the mounting points. So if you've got two checker jump seats for sale, uh, get in contact. I know someone that needs some. Uh, I always, always do not like to see a sunroof cut into a tin top car. Don't, don't do it, please. It was cut into this one and when I first saw it, I was like, oh, that kind of sucks. It's gonna leak, blah, blah, blah. And then Jim from the checkers owners group said, actually that's a checker sunroof. That's the same one they use for the taxi cabs. And I'm like, oh dang, it's still gonna leak. 
but it is cool and it is a correct part of the car and history. Whew, it's really hot today. We've got a little sweat going, not just because of how hot this thing is. So this was a German-built Swallowtail. The Swallowtail, if you are not a Mark I nerd, small tail lights which stuck around until late 70s, but the first year and a half of reduction have a little dip on the back panel that makes it a Swallowtail, like wings. There's a meme for you. And that's what makes a Swallowtail special. And Mark I nerds, extra nerd out about the swallowtail. So the fact that this was one is an extra bit of coolness. This is the one and only prototype. The provenance comes from the president of the Checkers owners group. He confirmed all the special parts, the unique things in the factory, what the engineers did. He also spoke to some of the people from the original factory that remember working on it. What that means is it's essentially priceless, but at the same time, it's a rusty Volkswagen Rabbit. So it's also kind of worthless. So somewhere between worthless and priceless, to me, it's, a, it's just so much fun. It's just a silly little buy note in history that I think should be saved. So anyway, that's, that's kind of the story of the Checker Volkswagen Rabbit Taxi, the cooperation with the two factories that never got further than this one. And somehow here we are in 2019, it still exists. It's still pretty much in one piece. It's got the extended inside, the vinyl seats. If you've ever been in a taxi cab, you know that everything is vinyl. It's done exactly as it would be from the checker cabs with their standard 1960s design cabs, but in a rabbit. That's, that's exactly what they have done. It had been for sale for a while. Other people could have bought this. Everyone keeps saying, how did you find it? How do you always find it? Like, it was just on the internet. Genuinely, I am very lucky. People know I'm a nerd and they do tag me on stuff. So that, that does help me find it. But I'm, I'm excited to add this to my zany collection of Volkswagens, uh, ranging from 2019, 1976. I have an earlier Swallowtail and it's another long wheelbase extended thing for, my, uh, for part of my history of collections. Uh, you know, I've got one more thing to say. Uber, what's this 10 year cutoff crap? Call me. I don't know, air conditioning, airbags, proper seat belt, crumple zones, brakes, engine that works. You don't need that. Just, just help push. Come on, we'll probably Flintstone it. Call me, Uber.